the vapor's going off. You guys, the Academy Awards are on. I'm trying to pay attention, but not completely because, you know, I decided to jump in uh, Books and Jams and one other blog, I'm gonna post it down there. I'm so sorry that I forgot who the other person is that's also doing this. They're doing a middle grade March readathon. So to take a month and to have some of your TBR books be middle grade books. And it's something that I promised at the start of this year. I wanted to read more middle grade on these shelves. I have so much middle grade. My girls are now getting older and certainly my son's in college. So not too many people in my house read middle grade anymore but I still love it. So I'm gonna just indulge myself and allow myself to read middle grade books. And what better way than to join in on the middle grade March readathon, right? Welcome back to All Things Equal Adderall. See, new year, new me, maybe, we'll see. So <clears throat> the first book is a really old classic by Rosemary Manning called Green Smoke. Look at this cute cover. It's a, an old, Puffin, Penguin Puffin book. And this story is about a dragon named R Dragon. He's 1500 years old and he had a great partiality for almond buds. He has impeccable banners. He can also tell stories and our protagonist Sue heard about the Cornish giants and fairies and of King Arthur whom he had known very well. So it sounds like, you know, girl meets dragon, dragon tells stories. We don't really know what happens, but look how short it is. And I've heard that the book is enchanting, so I have to read it. Yes, that was the timer in my oven. We got dinner going as well, so. Okay, the next book, I saw that Krista from Books and Jams added this to her TBR and I thought, Oh my gosh, this is a book I've literally been dying to read. There's also a movie based on it, and it's Diane Wynne Jones' Howl's Moving Castle. I have not read this, and I remember, as a huge Cassandra Clare fan, I remember when she talked about that the wizard in this book reminded her a little or was kind of a little bit of an inspiration for Magnus. So I love Magnus. I don't know. I am really really excited to take down this book for my tbr this author is one of my favorite chiclet authors though i have to be honest i haven't read one of her books in forever in her shoes was one of my favorite chiclet books from long ago and uh good night nobody when i had our third kid it was a book that just kind of refreshed me back into reading i remember that because as a brand new mom of three i did not have a lot of time but I read that book in a day and it was like, oh my gosh, I remember I love reading. So Jennifer Weiner wrote The Littlest Bigfoot and this was out last year, I believe. This was out two years ago, 2016, How Time Flies. It's Jennifer's take on, I think, kind of a portal world because the synopsis is how would it feel to find out that there was another world out there well beneath the world hidden away like the secret caramel center of a chocolate or a pearl tucked in an oyster shell, a world where Alice could be accepted, even loved. This next author, Kat just read the first book in her YA trilogy called Shatter Me, to Hera Moffey's Witchwood. Now what I like about this is that it's based on, I believe, Middle Eastern mythology. I think it's Persian. Um, you guys can tell me in the comments if I'm right. And about a girl who is the remaining Mordisher in the village of Witchwood, destined to spend her days scrubbing the skins and souls of the dead in preparation for the afterlife. And just that alone, it hints of dark mythology and just a mythology that's new to me that I'm not familiar with. Plus the cover, you guys, is stunning. This next book was recommended by my youngest. You guys know she is 12 years old. She's in seventh grade. She's gonna be 13 in a couple of months. And she read this, I wanna say two years ago. It's about an 11 year old girl named Melody who has a photographic memory. Her head is like a video camera that is always recording, always. And there's no delete button. She's the smartest kid in her whole school, but no one knows it. Most people, her teachers and doctors included, don't think she's capable of learning. And up until the recently, her school days consisted of listening to the same preschool level alphabet songs again and again and again. And it's about a girl, I think she's autistic, 
and she's kind of, I've read books like way back, I wanna say my junior high days, I went through a period where I read what I will call disease books. I was just fascinated by people overcoming various ailments. Don't ask, I was also pre-med back in those days. So that was probably part of it in my head, uh, pre-med at 12 and 13. Anyway, there was a syndrome where I can't remember and now I'm sure it falls on the autism spectrum where they can't speak, but they're processing things beautifully. And I think it was called Lockton syndrome. I don't know what the technical name is. This is called Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper. My Bella read this in a day, you guys, and she has been recommending it to me the last couple of years. So I'm going to take the time and finally read her recommendation. Okay. <laughs> Yes, that was, once again, the oven timer, making dinner. The next two books are graphic novels in the vein of Diary of a Wimpy Kid or My Not-So-Secret Diary. They're called uh, VIP, I'm with a Band, and Battle of the Bands. And this was a contest that I won, again, a couple of years ago. Forgive me, Jen Kalanita. The author ran a contest and I won it. And I, one of my girls read it uh, back couple years ago and I just never read them and if you look at them maybe not quite wimpy kid but certainly they're full of just beautiful illustrations kind of page long illustrations very much a middle grade book and I'm gonna go ahead and read both of them because you know this girl here she loves her rock and roll stories <laughs> So I'm curious to see how they translate into middle grade books or stories. <sighs> you guys, I know, I'm so excited about March. Are you excited? We had our first full winter storm this weekend and the kids just got their first snow day. <laughs> Coming in, that's right, like a lion, huh? So let me know down below what you have been reading. What does your TBR look like for March? Give me a thumbs up, won't you? And please hit the subscribe button as well as that bell because then you'll be notified when I post because you know I post haphazardly all over the place. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Cut.